Well, it's been 10 years since Hurricane Katrina, one of the worst natural disasters in our nation's history. So what would happen if a similar storm made landfall decades from now? Have we learned enough that it would make a difference? Hurricane specialist Michael Lowry is with the Weather Channel. He joins us today from Gulfport, Mississippi. Good morning, Michael. How are you? Good morning, Mike. Good. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. Let's talk about this special Katrina 2065. What's the, the premise behind this? Well, the Weather Channel is doing a different take on the Katrina anniversary. I mean, a lot of networks are looking back uh, on what happened. The Weather Channel, what we do every day is we look forward. Uh, so we're looking forward to if a Katrina-like storm, magnitude type storm, were to threaten the Gulf Coast in 50 years from now, how would it be different just based on climate change, the warming of the earth and the rising seas? Yeah, how did Katrina, did it change forecasting? I guess if it did, how did it change forecasting? I think one of the biggest things that we learned from Katrina is there's been so much focus on the category of the hurricane, whether or not it's a category three, a four or a five hurricane. Katrina, when it made landfall right here in Gulfport was a category three hurricane, but it brought a storm surge, that wall of ocean water onshore that was higher than a lot of category five hurricanes. So really what we learned from Katrina is that every storm is unique. It's, it's like a thumbprint or a fingerprint. Um, we have to treat each, stor each storm individually and prepare for each storm individually. Yeah, I've seen some of these 10-year anniversaries. Uh, yeah, they look back uh, at Katrina. Uh, you're in Gulfport today, but you're from New Orleans. So I want to ask you, someone who's from that area, how has the region recovered? What are you seeing on the ground there? Uh, well, really, in 10 years, so much has been done to that city. Um, and a lot of uh, fortification of the levees have been, have been done. Remember, with Katrina, the levee system wasn't entirely complete, and now they've really hardened that levee system so that it, it will generally help to reduce the storm surge of a one in 100 year type storm. But it doesn't mean, Mike, that uh, that storm surge won't, or the water won't overtop the levee system at some point. Even a Katrina-like storm, if it were to happen tomorrow, they would see some flooding but you wouldn't see the catastrophic failure, obviously, that we saw in 2005. When you tour the area, what do you, um, I guess, what do you see that is most remarkable to you about how far the, that community has come? You know, I just think being able to rebuild a lot of these communities and give hope to these areas that were so hard hit. Uh, you know, I remember being there a month after Katrina and seeing the devastation firsthand you would think just the scale of it, the extent of it, uh, how could you ever rebuild from something so disastrous and so extensive? Uh, and when you look at that city right now, it's really thriving. It's, it's sort of hit its, um, its second wind after Katrina and um, it's great to see, you know, somebody from that, from that city that they're, they're living with the respect for the hurricanes. I mean, they know that if a hurricane comes tomorrow that's Katrina type magnitude, yeah. that you still need to take it seriously, uh, that there could still be flooding um, but having that respect for each storm as they come by and, and, you know, having rebuilt and being a really strong, resilient community makes them tougher next time around. Yeah, you're in Gulfport right now. How's that area? And, and set us up, where are you at right now? It looks like you're, I mean, you're right on the water. We are, yes. We're in the, the Harbor Marina area here in Gulfport. Um, when Katrina roared ashore 10 years ago, it brought a 28-foot storm surge to this area. So I'm six feet tall, Mike. Uh, that storm surge was 22 feet above uh, my head where I'm standing here uh, and this is an area that's really susceptible uh, uh, storm surges that again that push of ocean water on shore uh, because the ocean is so shallow out there um, the ocean floor is very shallow it allows the storm surge to build up it's, it's such a beautiful area of the coastline here it's hard to imagine that sort of destruction that sort of water coming on shore um, but it did 10 years ago Saturday. Yeah, 22 feet. That really puts it into perspective. Katrina 2065 premieres tomorrow night at 7 o'clock on the Weather Channel. Mike, thanks for your time today. Thank you, Mike. Mary, over to you.